so today we are in Bulawayo and our uh, usual we have a traditional media engagement that we have with journalists, many in Harare and Bulawayo. And every year we've been hosting this just to get in touch with journalists, to give them our agenda for the year, for the, the Law Society's agenda for the year. And this year we've decided to expand it a bit to include a training uh, session in the afternoon. Uh, we did that for Harare journalists, particularly those that are reporting in the justice sector and the courts in particular. Uh, we thought there is a gap in terms of uh, understanding the procedures, the diction that is used in courts, and we thought journalists need, we needed to give them that and to assist them understand uh, the pitfalls that come with reporting on, on courts so that they probably limit losses and, and uh, maybe reporting on issues that could end up as conduct of court issues. I was just reading a case now, ISCO is going to court to, to, to ask the court to charge someone or to convict someone on uh, conduct of court because they posted something that they thought kind of denigrated what the court had, had ruled on. So that is what we are uh, to, going to be talking about. So we have invited a commissioner with the Zimbabwe Media Commission, Commissioner Tanaka Mugani, is a member of the Law Society and a councillor of the Law Society as well. So we have invited him to assist in that, that regard. But we have also invited somebody from the newsroom, somebody who is uh, working in the newsroom at up to an editor level. We have invited Mr. Ali Mugani to assist us understand what journalists go through. They live the realities on a daily basis so that we understand that and link that to the legal issues that we pick up every day when we read your stories and the stories that, uh, that we watch on television and on, uh, that we hear on radio and, and on other platforms. So we need to look at that and synchronize those things, assist the journalists to make sure we are all on point. In the end, what we all want is justice for everybody, justice for uh, and, and make sure justice delivered is as smooth as possible.